In this video, we are going to be cutting out all of the gumballs. We are also going to be adding a highlight and a shadow to make our gumballs look more three-dimensional, look more like a sphere rather than a circle. So to do this, you will need your paper that you painted last week. We mixed the secondary colors using the primary colors. You will need a tracer, a pencil, and scissors. The first thing I want you to do is to cut out these six different colors. So I'm, it doesn't have to be perfect, this shouldn't take very long, but I'm just going to cut them so that we don't get a multicolored gumball, but just one color. And make sure at your table you are putting them in a stack and keeping track of them so you don't get them mixed with the person next to you. Go ahead and cut all six squares. Once you've cut your six squares, we are ready to use the tracer. Now with the tracer, we are going to be using the bigger circle for this. Not any of the little ones, but the bigger circle. What I want you to do is I want you to turn your paper over and we're going to be tracing on the back of our paper. So I'm going to start with yellow, but you can start with any color you want. I want you to do seven gumballs per color. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trace all of them right away. And notice how I'm holding with my left hand and drawing with my right hand. Okay, You may do the opposite depending on your dominant hand, but I hold with my left and trace with my right. Then I'm going to cut these out. Now cutting circles can be a little tricky, especially to make the edges look round. So what I'm going to do is I'm really going to focus on turning the paper rather than the scissors. I'm using my right hand to cut and my left hand to just kind of rotate the paper. Notice I'm not really moving the scissors very much, but more the paper itself. I've cut out one and I'm going to set that aside making a nice pile. I'm going to continue. I'm going to cut out seven circles, taking my time. Notice how my, when I'm cutting my circle, I'm not just cutting straight lines along the edge because you'll notice that when I do that and I'm cutting straight lines instead of turning, it doesn't really turn out like a circle. It has kind of some straight edges, which we don't want. So I'm not going to use that one. So again, when I'm cutting a circle, I'm keeping, I'm gradually turning the paper slowly, cutting constantly. That way you don't have any straight lines, you're not making an octagon or anything like that. Once you've cut out all of them, okay, you can recycle your scraps or maybe someone at your table needs to borrow them. I'm going to set that aside, keep my orange ones. I'm going to do the same thing on the back, keep my yellow ones. On the back of my orange paper, again, I'm going to trace seven circles. You are going to continue this process cutting out all of the colors, seven total on each one, until you have all of your gumballs cut out, making them, keeping them in a nice neat pile. Go ahead. Now once you're done cutting them out, we want to make them look more like spheres, more three-dimensional. So at your table, you're going to get a paper towel, you're going to get a cup of black whale pastels, and you'll each have a white colored pencil. Now I might start on my red. And I want you to do this on the paper towel to keep our tables clean. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a highlight in where the sun or the light is shining. And I'm just going to do a little line like this, kind of curving like that, pressing pretty hard, just a little highlight. Then on the other side, I'm going to take a black oil pastel and I'm going to do a shadow on one side. I'm just going to lightly color over just a little bit on the side and notice how it went on my paper towel, that's why it's there. And then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of smudge it. Again, you'll notice that that looks more three-dimensional just by adding those two lines. I will keep going. I'm going to add a little highlight. Notice how it's curved in the same way. It's not flat or straight. And then on the opposite side, 
I'm going to color just a little line right on that edge and smudge it. And you're going to keep going, doing all of your gumballs until they all have highlights. Once you are done with all of them, and even if you don't finish quite on time, I want you to put them all in an envelope and write your first and last name on that envelope so that we don't lose any of our gumballs.